Welcome back and hello if you are new. So thanks again for tuning in. With accolades that include being a session musician for both Isan and Leprous, Obscuroscope may be Astrosaur's second full-length album, but it is certainly not one to be sniffed at. Combining elements of prog, doom, stoner and everything in between in a beautiful instrumental package, welcome to the weird and wonderful world of Obscuroscope. <laughs> From the moment that Poya Kelly is brought forward, we're introduced into the instrumental world of Astrosaur, and it is a musical world of prog the likes of Mastodon, riffs the size of Russian circles, and that jazz flirtation that we've seen previously with Dillinger Escape Plan, but all in an instrumental setting. Yet as much as the band are fantastic at navigating those psychedelic soundscapes, so are they at creating those really heavy riffs. Now, improvisation may or may not be a part of Obscuroscope, but the way that the instruments are played gives it that very jam-like feel. You know, it, when you go and see a live band and they're just kind of jamming out on riffs, and although there may be a loose structure, it does have that sort of sense to it, which I did really enjoy. Similar is the Torsh-esque riff of Super Void, which, you know, essentially shows the drummer's prowess to be able to go from anvil-heavy grooves to something quite light and airy, and really does show the rhythmic side of the band. Importantly though, I think that Astrosaur are able to take you on a journey that may get a little musically hairy at times, but then always bring you back to that central beginning. The bass, I really think, is what keeps you grounded whilst the guitar is off, you know, floating around in space. Some of Obscuroscope's finest moments come from Elephant Island or the beautiful, beautiful vistas on White Stone, which really does go down this like elder led psychedelic path. But Finishing off the album is the 11 minute Homewards. And although the track obviously does evolve and it takes a while to do so, if there was one criticism, it would be that at times the songs do tend to linger a little bit too long, which ends up making you being a little bit too lost. There are of course some areas that could do with a bit of tightening up, but overall it's a really great effort from a band who have an incredibly promising career. And it's certainly one that prog fans and stoner fans will definitely, definitely enjoy. So guys, thank you so much for watching this album review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to check out all my other videos, interviews, all sorts of other good stuff. And I will see you next week for another album review. Alright, take care friends.